Hello everyone, I am Yogesh from TechSupire. In today's video, we will learn about pause receive printing on Mac using Java. And this special, this will specially work for TM M30 printer, but it will work on most of the pause printers which use escape post commands. So to start, before start, let me just show you what is the output of this you can select here. So in this video, uh, the, the code which I will be uh, you can explaining to you will be of this receipt. In this, if you can see like the hydro is shop title and which is a little bit elongated and it's bold. And then we have a normal lines in the normal text and then we have a line of headers, the item price quantity total, which is a bold. And then again, the normal font. Post that we have the barcodes, the, you can see the alignment also. This is left alignment. These are the center alignments. And we have barcode of multiple formats. One is like ITF, which is a number format to print a number. And then we have code 39, which is printing uh, alphanumeric code where you can print anything. And then we have a, you can see QR code, which is printing my website. That is, uh, you can say, which is a URL for my website. That is textfire.in and textfire.net. So let's start and look into the code. So the code is pretty simple. I have created this class, which you just have to copy paste or you include in your project. This will be very simple class. You, you don't have to worry about. This will do your almost all the things. So this class is nothing but a collection of multiple subclasses, which are all static so that everything can be abstracted from you. Like it should be like all the complexity are abstracted. Now, e all the classes are static and all the methods are also static. They are just returning a byte code which is escape commands for your printer. Okay, let me just toggle all these. Yeah, okay, now coming to the main code. So, and this is the class which is calling this class, using this class for, you can say, escape commands. And the first part of this code from here to here is kind of copy paste, you have to copy paste. Here, what I'm doing is actually, I'm just searching for the printer and turning on the print service. So once the printer service is on, we just have to pass the data to print. So this is a kind of a copy paste code, you just have to copy paste in your code, nothing to be changed other than the printer name. Okay, and you can change it as per your wish, whatever you want, but this is kind of, of no logic, it is just required. Okay, and the only code which you have to refer is this byte output string from here till this one. What we are doing is we are creating a byte, uh, you can say stream, and then later we will convert that stream into a byte array, and then we'll just pass it to the printer to work out. Now here, let's start. So first thing, if you notice in our receipt format is a center alignment. All the text titles are center aligned. So to do that, I have created one method called justification, and in that I'm passing pause justification dot center. This justification is nothing but an enum. So let me just take you to the top. So this is the justification, which are just the enums, like left, right, center, and right. So you can pass left, center, and right from here to this method, and automatically the code will be justified as per that. Then I am putting my, you can say increase in the height of my character size. Now in pause, you cannot just increase the size of whole character. You have to increase width as well as size height to match it up. So here I'm just increasing the height to three. And now again, this method three is nothing but it, it will be just returning and byte array. So here, if I go, so here you notice we are just returning a byte error. So everything is byte. So that's the bottom line. So once this uh, I'm increasing the thing, then I'm providing a title and slash in for next line. And then I'm getting the byte array for this string. So get bytes is already, you can say extension method available for the string in Java. So you don't have to worry about that. Nothing to be including for that. Then I'm putting my, my, so once I have elongated the text in pause, how things work is once you change any style, you have to set it back to the normal so that it should work else it will copy paste the same style for further printing. So as in my, you can say example, the shop title is elongated and bold, but the other lines are normal. So I do have to switch back. So I'm saying like character size, come back to the normal and it will automatically remove the bold part also. And then I'm just printing my normal lines, normal strings, and using get bytes method to get the bytes and adding to my, you can say, byte writer, byte stream.
then I'm again justifying it to left because now this item quantity price has to be printed on left. Now, one more thing is for bold. So there is a set style method here. I'm just saying like set it to the bold. And once this line is printed, I'm setting it to none so that it should come back to the normal. And then these items are printed in a normal font without a bold. So again, referring back to the image. So this is very simple. Now coming to the barcode. Again, in the barcode, I'm just first, let's see for barcode, I'm setting height and width. The reason for that is because code 39 is pretty big barcode. So if you are using it, it will be very high in height and width. So if you just size, you can just set the height and width, it will become more smaller to print. So actually, so in this image here, you see the code 39, it's a smaller one, but actually in it, you know, like in the actual, if you don't uh, compress the size and width, it will be like double the height of uh, both of them. So coming back to so once I said my height and my width and then what I have to do is just I have to call this print barcode method and I have to pass the barcode type and the number. And again for this code 39 I have created a special method also and you can use the same method also for code 39. So there is already a code 39 that already it will work for you. So once this is done, I'm just printing my QR code again in the QR code. I just have to pass the string what I need to include in the QR code. So this is a pretty simple example if you just run it. So it will print now here you see the this part till this part is the something which we have to worry about the logic. This part is nothing but it is just forwarding the byte array to the printer and it will give a print. So I hope you must have understand all these things. If you have any confusion, you can uh, put your question in comments. And if you need this code, just put your email ID in the comments. Uh, and if you still need my assistance, I also provide commercial support. You can reach me on my email ID. That is yogesh.mela at the textfire.net. And Skype is yogesh.mela at the live.com. And this is my phone number for WhatsApp. If you have any question, feel free to reach me. Thank you.